or we get to take a long vacation home. Win, win, win. <laughs> win, 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 loss for Jack. <laughs> now you're sweating, Amida. <laughs> Otherwise, no sneaky in the world, no whiskey in the world, no licorice in the world. <laughs> oh, we didn't make a lot of people. No high in the world. What it do, what it does, be you being where you was, but it ain't what it is. Facing the mud, y'all really be hating the mud, said I can't pick it up, but I did. Y'all know goon put too much bass in the sub, cut full of blood and I gave it a chug. Wait till your neighbors get all snug, then play this real loud where you live. This, that, for the kids, so some strength can't say what it is. No case came, ain't say what he did. Make shit move, put a chain on the gear. Yeah, I've been on top of the tower, got the power with the man. Gun cock in his pocket, shabble, put you down with the squiz, that's rock and power. I done hang with the guys and we talk for hours, yo. Well, our preparation for the playoffs was basically the same as we would prefer any best of five. We, we knew we were playing TL and that winning that game would set us up for very good shot at Worlds, right? Uh, so we were all very excited to beat TL and to qualify, obviously. And um, we, had, uh, we had like a few plans, a few plans on blue, a few plans on red against TL. But then they showed like this whole mm, like mid 3v3 thing that they were doing. and. I feel like it really caught us off guard. Still think we have a very good shot of making it there. Um, I do think we learned a valuable lesson playing against TL, and I think we are going to show a much better version of ourselves next time around. I mean, of course, there's more pressure when you have you know only one match left if you lose. But I've been in this situation before and. You know, it's off my dad in playoffs anyway, so it wasn't too bad. I, I didn't, I didn't feel more pressure today than last time we played. It's always about winning. You know, it doesn't matter if you, if you, if you lose, you should always try to win. So. Top lane clash. Oh, oh my. Top lane clash. Wow. Licorice goes head to head with Fudge. Why is it? Oh my. Guys, I'm going. Okay, guys. Listen, listen to me, guys. He's going. Listen, listen for a second. Golden Guardians are not good. They're not good at laning, they're not good at team fighting, and they're not good at setting up for dragons because they always TP their one minute behind. The only thing they do good is they try to make proactive plays. And if the play is fucked, the game is over for them. So they're not good, they face it badly, they, they're poor at silencing, they're bad at laning. Like, I don't know, I, I've watched the games, Are they we, can't, we can't lose. <laughs> we can't lose. So literally just talk about stack base, and if they do even have stack base because they're bad at laning. So other than that, I think we're actually pretty good to win. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. One, two, two, one, two, two three, three, nine. nine. Cloud Nine Rats have found themselves in the lower bracket after suffering a loss to Team Liquid, and they'll play up against the Golden Guardians, who are still on the Miracle Run. For C9, C9 is not only expected to win the series, but do it in a, in a strong fashion. As both teams are jostling for this Rift Herald, Iconic's gonna start a great hook there. Rupers are gonna kick it off, and that's first blood of Bays Olive dies in the air to Vulcan. Iconic though, looking to make the play, finds a two man sleep. And ulti out there, Chime moves in, the damage is good with the depth chart, but now going golden for two. Fudge there, does devour, there is a Blaze Olive found the back line. Iconic is gonna fall down, a Blaze Olive just can't do the damage. Now Tom Kent popping into the back line, but the AD carries from Golden Guardians are still alive, but it is just not enough. Realm Warp forward, perks under the tower, Sven takes out Sticks there, a Blaze Olive, and that's gonna be a Bud Light Ace in 21 minutes! All right, Cloud9 is empowered. And this was a fast one, 25 minute win, another kill there, just added to the books, 13 to 1. What a monstrous win there from Cloud9. Typical game one of NA's, NA playoffs where nothing happens and then you just win one team fight and it's over. Um, 
we had a very good learning phase in that game. We had lost CS both me and Lucas, so I was happy with that, and they just lost slowly over time. You know, I got 1,000 kills in four years at LEC, so I'm actually on a good track. Yeah, I'm actually on a better track than I was in LEC. It's actually really good. We play more games than like hey. two splits of LZ. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Did you see how many, by the way, did you see how many games we played? <laughs> you don't need that information. No, hey, hey, hey. I think, I think, I think hey, we had best of threes and best of twos. No, I'm That's just, true. Two years in a row. I'm just saying, we played more games in this. this. Cassidy, they just called, they just called us cheeses. These piss blows just called us cheeses. <laughs> Cheesers? How do we cheese? Don't cheese, man. Why are you keep cheesing? Why are you keep, why are you oh, cheesing? You're like cheesing so much. Well, I'm kind of cheesing with my pick. No, like, no one expected it. Like, I'm actually cheesing now. Actually, the victim for that very strategy. Now he's actually luring him towards Blabber. Oh, Iconic's pounded him though. Now Blabber gonna be the target. Iconic with the damage. Blabber knocked up, and first blood just goes to the Trundle man as Vulcan once again has found the timing and being chased away by Perks. A Blaze Olive gets destroyed by his Venq, and Fudge has found the angle over the back with Perks. Rome warps over. That's three. One more left there as Perks finds a double. A Blaze Olive, the only Golden Guardian left alive in this game to. And that's gonna be it. If it doesn't end now, it's gonna end soon. Cloud9 have taken over this second game. The top lane matchup gonna be maybe a bit different this time, actually. Licorice has played quite a bit of Trundle. Oh, that's oh. such a good hook. Vulcan just on point. The Ignite is down. Sven spinning in there. Beyblade from Hell's gonna grab first blood. Perks is coming back in. He's got a lot of damage too. Licorice again trying to make it happen. Doesn't grab the play, but the fight on the other side maybe is gonna be the one. Ulti had a stick save, forces a flash from Blabber, but in a 3v4 they couldn't get Whoa. it. Vulcan has found the hook angle of a lifetime as Chime is forced to flash away. A Blaze Olive, no ulti. Everyone on Golden Guardians flashing out to safety, and Cloud9 cleanly win that exchange. Cloud9 winning the fights in two fronts. The Nexus is exposed, and we will finish with Chime in the fountain, wondering what happened as Cloud9 will take the 3-0, perhaps expected, but the fashion in which they got here is very, very impressive. I think we had good showings, we played some new champions. Uh, or not really new champions, but we played some champions that we've been practicing for a bit during the scrims and we got a lot more comfort on those champions too. So I feel like now uh, we're able to uh, like play around a lot with our blue side bands and red side bands and that's going to give us an advantage moving forward. So I'm just excited to play any other team. We played a good series overall and played some different champs than we did against TL and it was good to see, I think. So. I'm okay with that series, and I think we all knew that we win today, regardless of what happens. And the real challenge is gonna be EG or one of Thieves, and then TSM or TL in the next one. Who are we gonna face in this match on Sunday? Because we're gonna beat 100 Thieves or EG, whoever they send. It's gonna be very hype, basically, removing TSM or TL from Rhodes. Try them all. You're not coming, Trent? Dread. I understand. He doesn't care about us. He actually doesn't give a shit. He's it's living the up. nice other life. He's like, yeah, hope it Chill out. Hope, it hope I don't have to go to China. China. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to invite him. Yeah, he's actually thinking that. <laughs> also, you put in the video of me driving with one hand, we'll be like, oh, he's such a reckless driver, driving with one hand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. No hands, bitch! Can you drive with your midget can you, can you also beep the bitch? Sounds like my mom doesn't hear anything. Swiggy is the idea that the government is pushing soy products on us yeah. to make us more docile so that the new world order is easier for them to enact. Are you hearing this? What does docile mean? Docile, like when, when the government tries to take over the world and a new world order gets brought in, like if we're all eating soy, the idea is that it'll be harder for us to fight back. <laughs> it'll be harder for us to fight back against eating soy. Against the government. Why would it make it harder for us to fight against the government? Because when we, something about like eating soy and the people, the crazy people are saying that's like, it lowers your testosterone, and it lowers like your sperm count and stuff. The soy makes you weak and... Yeah.
I'm so glad Cassie's gained all of this. Yeah, okay, bro. Whatever you say. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I just pissed myself. Oh, Fuck. No. Whoa. Here, for me. Ah! 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 I'm the definition of uh, I'm the dog who relates Who people rooting for cause they see themselves in my face Don't throw the top with my face Um, can I just go with him, Jane? Or... I wet my pants huh? No, I didn't, like, <laughs> I spilled water on my pants Okay, I'll, So someone I'll, is bringing... I'll, yeah, yeah, no, no <laughs> I just I'll, 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 I'll just let back yeah, yeah, yeah. I realize that's a term <laughs> I realize that's a term in America <laughs> I can give you guys two things. No, go for it. Yeah, okay. No? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Okay. Uh, First thing is, we're got? gonna make them sweat today. Yeah. Um, that's, that will uh, be our best prio. And we're gonna make them sweat whether we're winning or we're losing. Okay. 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 Second thing is, we're gonna cancel each other's calls. Uh, I agree. That's if it doesn't look good. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, and third thing is, we're gonna be very confident today. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna smash them. Yeah, I agree. Thank you, Gary. Great. Thanks, Gary. Yeah? Thanks, Gary. Yeah. Thanks, Gary. Yeah. Tried. <laughs> Tried. One, two, three, three. Oh, boy, oh, boy, is it getting spicy here in the LCS pool. It should be quite a match. There are no more chances here in the lower bracket. One world slot left, and CNN and EG are still here fighting for it. Good damage there. Gravity gun down. Volk going to be the target. Fence Garen looking for the play. Gets exhausted. And now in the middle Ooh. of it all, the hook after the stasis makes it so easy. Perked. Clips another kill. Gets another in the ulti as well as impact. It's going to be the double. They take him down. They swap to offense. It's Vulcan in the front line. Tanking it up. He'll trade his life for Rignar as Suzuki is going to get zoned off by Fudge. And Danny and Impact are going to be left to the Wolves and the rest of Cloud9. The Dunkaroonie comes in for Impact. Great face breaker. But Danny in stasis can't fight. They'll dodge out the incoming damage. The poke they return is better. Danny on the wrong side of the rift, and it is no 1v5 this time. It is Impact going down. It is Cloud9 almost collecting the ace. All right, here comes EG. Spits Garen again, trying to make it happen. Impact with a flank, looking maybe kind of good here, but Vulcan goes in, blabber on a rampage, takes out one, he lives forever. The GA still doesn't proc. A very disciplined game number one, but at the end of it all, it is an overwhelming Cloud9 victory. You get your lane setups. Here they find a pick, though. Ignar, the target, is going to get locked down. Already popped the W, so that will be a kill for Sven, but now Impact, we're going to make the big play. Two into the wall with the Naras. Danny gets in there and tries to clean one up. Perks being very sneaky to try and get his way out of there as Blabber will collapse. Yeah, for size splash. I'm teaming behind them. I'm teaming behind them. Okay. Play slow. Play slow. Play slow. Down, we win these. We win these. Yo, chase it low. Guys, guys. Chase AD. Chase AD. Chase AD. He's one HP. No, that's not crit. Nice. I'll hit it, I guess. The snipe. He collects the double kill. And AG are falling apart in game two. It's contracts with no way out in the wolf camp. It's Cloud9. Find three. Kill for AD. Kill for AD. Kill for AD. No, no, no. no. Bang on him. Nice. Bye bye. Watch out for Viego, guys. I'm gonna hit Viego. Kill Viego. Kill Viego. Yeah, we win. Nice. We win. And then. Oh, I'm surfing. I'm wow, five deaths. I'm one shot the 17 old prodigy. I'm so good. I'll chase him. I'll chase him. I'll chase him. I'll chase him. Doesn't show, but I'm not going to walk up. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Yeah. The ult, probably? The chunk, guys. He's on the chunk. No, no, go. It's hard to grab. Maybe, maybe. Back up, back up, back up. Guys, maybe you can go to the chunk, though. It's on. Okay. Will do? Yeah. No clans, no clans, no clans. Nice. Play slow, play slow. I'm sound, I'm sound. Then Luca. Keep him on mid. Keep him on mid. Keep him on mid. Look at all, look at all. We need to. We need space now. We need space now. No, no, no. It's fine. He's good. 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 He's Oh, the double! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's a double there for Sven with one arrow. William tells. Oh, and that's the ulti. Sven misses, but GP does not blow. The cannot miss. Gets himself exhausted, but he's just tanking everything in the front line. Not enough, though. Impact finds four with the Nora ulti, and somehow that does not save the fight. The Guardian Angel out of Blabber keeps C9 chugging along, and Danny desperately peppering bullets into the front of Cloud9. But the Nexus is crumbling as Jazuke TP flanks his own base to try and keep the game going. But Cloud9 are too far ahead, are too strong, are too powerful today. Nice. Oh, Let's go! Woo!
I'm going to Dino with this one. He did, he did, Blabber just said IMG can win. Yeah, IMG can win. That's true. I mean, I know it is true, but I guarantee TSN fans right now are oh, exploding. Yeah, he's going to get blown up on Twitter. Exploding. Sure IMG can win. What? Did you hear Blabber? Fuck that guy. Thank you, We drafted really, really well in the EG series, and our drafts were very, very easy to play, I would say. In the past, we've played drafts that are maybe a bit harder to execute, and obviously we make a lot of mistakes, right? So. I wouldn't say I'm like insanely confident that we're at a peak, but I do think that we dropped very well recently. Yeah, I agree with that statement. I think we also have been dropping stuff we practiced, like not like we just first time die in a Viego in our TL series. So it definitely feels better to drop what we practiced. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're peaking. I hope we're not peaking because that means we're going to lose TL. <laughs> um, so I definitely think we're going to keep improving. I think last year we had different solos and it felt like going into the like the the playoffs it felt like we didn't have very much carry potential um not our solos obviously but in general it felt like we didn't have a direction or uh very flex flexible drafts and right now it feels a lot better where we have it feels like we have flexibility in draft um and that we can play through all roles um, and regarding TSM, they obviously have a completely different roster. Um, honestly, they just don't have Bjergsen anymore. So, <laughs> it's going to be a lot easier this time. True. There's no Bjergsen, yes. <laughs> we can win. <laughs> I, was holding this, cause I was holding something in my hands, maybe my mask or something. And I was holding the bottle between my thighs. And I started opening it. But since the bottle is like very bad, right? It just like sprinkled out as I was opening. Cause Maybe I pushed the hard legs and just like basically wetted my pants. Wet my pants? Not wetted, that's not a word. Wet my pants. And then I was like very uncomfortable uh, because, yeah, not ha having like wet ties, the upper ties is like very annoying. So I try not to give me new, new pants. So yeah, I played commando mode today. I think the. C9 summer split thing became a thing, even though it shouldn't have. I think we just got into a slump. We were like 9-0 in summer and we got into a slump because we thought we were too good. We weren't, spoiler alert. And then people just started making up narratives out of nowhere, you know, no sneaking, no worlds, uh, C9 summer split, collapse, blah, 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 you know, like all this dribble. And it kind of gets to you a little bit and then people start doubting you until you finally make it. I think a lot of people doubt us because of how inconsistent we've shown to be. And we have those really high highs, but then we also have some quite low lows, and especially at MSI that kind of showed um, winning against RNG and Nam1 and then also losing to Pentanet in this span of 24 hours, probably, something like that. And we had similar results in NA where we would lose to volunteer teams, and next day we'd be able to beat the first place team or something. And I guess that doesn't inspire a lot of confidence, but I guess I and in the team were kind of aware of the level that we can play at. I like being sent to the lower brackets. Um, it really makes you learn more about yourself and your team. Every time you do it, you know, you're on the edge, just waiting to, just waiting to get eliminated, you know, from other teams. But nobody's been able to do it before. So I'm pretty sure I can do it again with the help of my team. We can win any. Failing to make worlds. Now, the old gods of the LCS go to battle themselves, fighting for North America's final spot at Worlds. And I mean, Emily, I think that's where we have to start the idea that one of these two teams isn't going to make it. And there's so many storylines going on here, right? There's the $5 million imports. There's Bjergsen as a coach. There's Perks making it to Worlds from, from this region, not just EU consistently, mm -hmm. right? right? There's what just happened to his old team in EU. There's, this is like so much drama that has to come to a head today. Hadla, Vincent. Hadla, Hadla. Vincent, get in here. I missed Tron. Same. <sighs> it's okay though, thanks for All right. So another very fun best of five. Lot on the line. This is, honestly, this is what we live for. This is fucking fun. 
Let's enjoy ourselves, okay? Sure. Let's be confident today. And let's be patient too, okay? Things will come. Don't forget about that. And trust each other, okay? Got it. Party boss. Yes. 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 One, two, One, two, three, see ya! Today we qualify the third and final LCS team into Worlds. This is the match you want to see. Vulcan, Perks, and Blabber all want into the bottom lane. Will it be enough? TP immediately. Be now the TP's coming in. It's going to be enough damage though. Blabber dropped and Blabber is gone. It's not over. Four man die. They're looking to set up here. Zvenas, no flash. TP, flash stun. Sword going to drop the aggro. Three dead. Make it number four. Vulcan, yes, the death pinch is in. The top still under fire. Lost and Hooney put pretty big damage down. Won't quite kill it. Oh, the flash in! Absolutely beautiful setup by Hooney. The knockdown was there, instantaneous. And now Blabber wants in. The charm, the knockup. They're going to trade one and two back. Cloud9 again, willing to fight to three, the death. Baby. Here comes the dive in the back line. Big ol' for Blabber, looking to kill the back line. Stopwatch user, power of evil. Naga comes across for Vulcan. It's going to be a kill yet, though, as the health bars are dropping. Guardian Angels pop. Chocolate buys a bit of time. And there's a 2-0 start, making a third for TSM. Sven is next. And it's four. Guys, yeah, the game is just my bad, okay? Like, it's, really a, it's all good, sir. Uh, I think we, we tried. I, I, I shouldn't force. I'm, I'm actually just griefing. No, no, I think it's okay. Sword of the Baron, TSM, control Cloud9. What an incredible game one from TSM. Talk about a snake. I mean, yeah, we just learned to, like, stay calm and not get too desperate. And trust that we will have a play of our own, even though if enemy is winning early game. I know sometimes the things look rough, but it wouldn't be... Nothing in life is worth living if it's not hard. Reach wow, they're going charm. Wow. Exhaust, knock up, kick back. Perks is a flash way to stay alive. Hootie, they get back for the fight. He got there in time. That's why they forced it. And it's enough to find the top laner killed. He'll be dead for the time Dragon spawns. Head the TV back in. So 5v4 for 30 seconds. What can C9 do? Anyway, but here comes Hooney back alive. Perks gonna get a blue buff steal, and this could be a 5 on 5. Again, Ocean Soul if TSM lands the smite. This is gonna be a 5 on 5 for this maybe the future the of this game. A big ult. Meganar almost ready, and Fudge will not quite die. Dragon yet to reset. Engage on Asmika. Won't kill him, but Who Vulcan is it? dead, and it's claimed by Blabber. Keeping Cloud9 alive for now. Five versus four. Four versus four, sorry. Both supports are dead. Fish in a barrel for Sven. TSM hemmed in. Engage Shockwave! Will find two and Lost puts one in the dirt. And here comes Realm Warp again in two. Fudge and Person. Fudge nearly Meganar. Jumped upon though. He will transform. He will find a fight. He can get the ulti. It's going to be a dunk out of the jungler. They're looking to kill him off. And they will indeed pop the Guardian Angel. Sword Art very low and he's going to die. Cloud9 1 for 0 so far. Perks wants the next. But Speak is going to be out of range. Fudge able to recall. Cloud9 again able to win the team fight. Look at that. I, I can stack Megan. I can TP in. Boston in, 15. In, uh, like, what if I TP in the, in the base right now? I'm TPing. I'm TPing. I'm TPing. Okay, okay, okay. They're all four here, they're all four here. All four all 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 play slow, play slow, okay? And, all four here. And keep, I keep, I keep, I keep no, trying to TPR behind them. Why are you trying to base? Okay? I think you should TP now, maybe? One second. I cancel his base, I cancel his base. Okay, calm down, calm down. That's good, that's good. Where's the flash? Yeah. Um, or he's I'm basing again. I'm TP, I'm TP. I'm TP behind him, I'm TP behind him, I'm TP behind him. Cutting out, cutting out. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm behind him. Where's the flash? Give me W, give me W, give me W. I need to know. They're trying to finish, they're trying to finish. I'm behind them. Okay. Get it, Barry. Nice, we have it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Hey, pattern in two seconds, Luca. Pattern in two seconds. Go, no, go in, go in, go in. Go in. Yes, yes, you guys go. I'm on hit. I'm on hit, I'm on hit. I'm on hit. But Sven's gonna find the ulti. Sven's gonna find the shutdown. TSM have only two left alive, but Perks has no HP. They can keep pushing. Cloud9 have three members here healthy. They're pushing with the Elder. 45 seconds on Power of Evil. 45 on Lost. Cloud9 looking for the win. Wait for 30 seconds. Can TSM do it? Pantheon's gonna He's trying to cut the to wave. knock down the wave, but he can't get all of it. The cannon's still alive. Hootie's gonna fall. And Cloud9 fight from such a deficit the heroics of Sven to secure the elder and that is game one to one what a series for cloud Jackson's been chill on the couch. I've been relaxed all the time this season. Like, I don't give a shit.
Okay, because we won this game, we for sure win the series oh, because we just beat Yana. All agree? Yeah? <laughs> cool? Okay, well. Uh, we got creative with a few plays. We were able to like slowly get back in the game, get into favorable positions, get like a man advantage for Dragon or something. And then uh, the I guess the, the moment where the game ended, we had Luca TP into their base and try to pressure end. And then it becomes a race against like they're trying to finish Elder. That's so what some members trying to recall. So we're like trying to fight them a little bit to bait them to stay. At the same time, not int so that um, we don't all like troll the team fight away and, and lose the game right there. So. Um, yeah, just a, just a banger game, game two. Won't die, but is going to be in danger. Here comes the rest of the squad. Leeson's come in, going to find not much of a stun. There's the ulti across Blavarols, but it's not going to matter. Stopwatch buys the time, but it's still going to be Vulcan drop in and out. The rest of the kills are coming through. TSM already with three, looking to fudge now for number four. Looking tasty, finds himself a couple of stuns, but it's not going to matter. They're still on the chase. The ulti will not save him. And it's TSM who are going to get themselves the base. It's going to be two to one in the series right now. Dominating here in game three, putting themselves to match point. Uh, Syndra, first pick. I think it's good. Banoriana picks Syndra. And I think the draft is going to look like game four. And that's our game five draft. And then we win. That's my plan. You want to play Ezreal and Sally? Into Varus? Mm -hmm. Varus is here. We, we, know they're, like, we know they're going to pick Azir. So you could just pick Ezreal. I mean, finally they today on three. If you want to do it, like it's probably good against yeah, this team. Yeah, more games. True. <laughs> you guys don't me the blue too. Like, no cap now. We're gonna face I'm, I'm not playing cap, the cap right now. I'm done. Guys, just pick me in the next game. I will never die, and I will do so much damage that enemies can't handle it. And Fudge is down. Next up is Blabber, but they can turn back. Jin's got to land the shots, hits PoE, Perks knocks him down. The front line of oh, Blabber, here. he's so dead, and he is. But it's a one for one. Syndra finds a second as Perks has a double kill to his name. And this 3v3 could look good. Not going to find the sun to speak, but they will get the root, and that might be enough. A flash for Vulcan. He wants it. He's going to get it. And now the ult is going to get lost yet again. Gale Force gets nothing done, though, and targets Sword Art. Stun's going to land on the AD carry. Sven gets the crit. Perks is huge now. Five, one, and three on the Syndra, having a good game in the 1-2 comfort zone, lower bracket here, <laughs> Perks. To get the time, but a damage from Speak is going to be okay, can heal back up, and now the fight comes in the front line, shuffled back, and his ear goes down, one for nothing, Blabber, staying alive, lost trying to shoot for his whole life, but it might not be enough, into the front line they go, trading a Guardian Angel out, but Perks is unstoppable, he's found two more kills, chasing the Hoonie, Sven. chasing towards Spica, Sven has found himself a couple of kills now as well, unstoppable as Spica is left alone, Cloud9 have been fighting back and forth and scrapping back and forth. And now they get the ace and they will also get the base. We are going to game five. Cloud9 and TSM delivering, going the distance. We're going the fucking distance. <laughs> We're not stopping. That's right, Kobe. Kobe. Not Kobe. That is signature. Cloud9 works as pumped. Have you been banned here this whole time? Uh, yeah. they can change but here's the deal. You know it couldn't happen any other way. When it comes to TSM and Cloud9, it's always got to go five games. One spot at Worlds. Yeah. One shot to keep your hopes at an LCS championship alive. And both of these teams are hungry for it. What say the rebels great world songs. The time is coming for we take back control. We can break the curse. Uh, if they're playing Ziggs in game five, they're just giga cringe. That's true. That's actually just true. Whoa. Whoa. He's doing it. Um, wow, wow, wow. You want listen or Sen Chao? I want. It's probably listen, right? Uh, you want to just take Varus here, Jesper? I think yeah. it's probably best. You because think so? I, I think Bobby wants to wait with his... I want uh, to okay. okay. Yeah, yeah I, I think mean, we should... Is, is Diana not an option anymore? But I don't like doing that when... We can't kind of be close with Braum, though. Is Diana not an option anymore? You want to play Diana earlier? I think so, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Think so? Yeah. I'm down for that. Yeah, I think we should. Okay. Just okay. Do so you want to pick Varus okay. or do you want to pick Diana? Or... Pick, pick Diana. Uh, I just pick Varus. Yes, I think so. I I could play an AFK champ, but I really is just a counter to rise. No, we're gonna do Diana already, but they're they're just gonna pick fucking Renekton, guys. But if you want to do this... game plank, do you think it's good here? I guess yeah, we're inside. Yeah. You, want to you, can play, you can play Sejuani as well. I don't mind, but Diana is probably more comfort. We're playing Diana, and I'm winning. Alright, let's agree. do it. 
Yeah, they're waiting around. They're, they know they have to walk over to this one. As TSM pulled them across, as they were engaged, they found Vulcan. They're going to pull the Nocturne ulti. Is this the fight? Gwen's on the wrong side of the map without the ability to teleport just yet. This 5v4 could be good. Realm Warp not going to go for anything. But here comes the read dive. Sword Art's in. Is it going to be enough damage, though, as the front lines go back and forth? Stop watch the burn, but no one's yet dead. Here's and the re-engage comes in. Perks knocks down Hooney. Perks knocks down Sword Art. And he is here to claim his throne of the LCS. A triple kill, and TSM are pushed off the map as Huni has to walk away. The flash follow. Perks wants it all, but can't get it just yet. Diana ult comes in. Fudge with the kill. One trade back, though. Lost only gets the one as it's going across for Gwen for two. A third comes in for Sven. It's 12 to 4, and TSM, Whoa. they can buy a Ross, but they can't buy a win. Mid untouched, but this could be enough as they walk in two waves at once, quickly cleared by the rise, and now they go on the turret. TSM must fight, and Sword Art starts it off. Knocks it in here as well, but do they have what they need? Here comes Diana, pulls in three, big damage. This could be the death we now. Go. Cloud, let's go! Oh! Cloud for four, and Cloud let's oh. fucking go! Nice, TSM's guys. Here. The struggles are worth it. It felt really tough not making worlds two years in a row after Moon Um When I joined TSM, they always made, made worlds. Then I joined, they didn't make worlds while I was there. I joined Cloud9, who also made worlds every year, besides the year I played with them. And even though we won Spring Split, which was a huge confidence boost because we had the best split any anti teammates ever had, and we were dominant, dominant. MSI was cancelled, which kind of hurt us. And then we didn't go, for, go to worlds. Um, again, and you start thinking when teams make worlds without you, you know, TSM made worlds that year, you start to doubt yourself a little bit and wonder if you are the issue, um, the common factor in not making worlds in those teams. So, making worlds this year was really huge for me. So, I just feel super relieved to be back and very excited to, to play at worlds with the boys. I think we didn't show up at the MSI as much as I had hoped for, but I think that tournament was a uh, team building experience almost and at Worlds we will be a lot better. Alright, so Mithy, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mango is planning to get a Cloud9 tattoo. <laughs> yeah. And I'm figuring if we win the split, I think uh, you should get one too and Cassidy can film it. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll be there. Right. Cassidy's got us locked in. Book the appointment for me. We've got evidence. Yeah. First tattoo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. First tattoo. <laughs> He's getting one on the neck, so I think, you know, you got to do that too. I'll, I'll, I'll just probably oh, yeah, get it right. here on the cheek. Oh, this is good, yeah. Today, let's be confident as per usual, no. but let's think a bit, a little bit more about our win conditions and let's not uh, like just be a bit more patient, right? That's it. I think we know exactly what they want to do. So we're, we're in a very good spot. Well, what do they do? There's a closer <laughs> and every bush. Every bush. <laughs> guys, literally, <laughs> literally everyone in here, like the camera guys, us, their mothers, Teal, their mothers, Teal's mothers and Han and T's mothers knows goes. that we are going to win. <laughs> like, it's just that simple. Like, it's that simple. It's that simple. Only right. Hundred doesn't know, but they're about to find out. Their mother's know. Their mother's know. So so right. I send them in One, the two, three, zero! Yes! I am so ready. Championship weekend. You can just smell it in the air already. Super exciting. We've got our world's reps. Now we need to decide who is the best team in the LCS. Who's going to raise the trophy? Baron at about half HP. Someday and who he will lead the charge. 
Little bit of damage finding its way onto Vulcan, but Cloud9's ready to turn. Blabber going for the flash with the audacious charge, but now he's got to back up a little bit. Thrown up into the air, but the ulti keeps him the safe. Inferno. Blabber's going to be the first to die, and FBI burns them down. FBI's got plenty of HP to work with. Fudge is having to run away. Abadaga, it's oh. a shockwave, my friend. Now we got a 4v5. FBI's in a bad spot. He's going to be jumped on Cloud9, looking for the focus, looking for the fire. They got him, but they lose perks in the process. Three traded away for FBI, and the trade is not good enough. And 100 Thieves, through superior team fighting, will claim game number one. Game one, it was kind of a slow early game, um, but and then we made like some pretty big macro mistake, which made me not be able to farm a minion for like a few minutes. Um, but then I caught up again in the mid game, and we started picking them off. And in my opinion, we were just starting to get into a really good position in the game, like we were about to have full control in the game. And then after we got some kills. Oh, it was one kill on Oriana, we wanted to go Baron. And that Baron, even though we could play it better, I think the call was probably just troll. Like, we had, we were in, in a really fine position in the game and our comp doesn't really want to do Baron. It's kind of what they want to do, so we lost the 4 versus 5 and, I mean, after that the game was just over. It was like, just a mini blow after that. And in game 2, we had a really good team comp to win as well and we were snowballing the game. Uh, kind of, not really, but then we were able to win some mid-game team fights in game two and able to secure um, the objectives, but we couldn't really close out and for like 10 or 15 minutes of the game, we kind of just did nothing. We were like three to four K up and we were like three to four K up six minutes after. So we basically, we just didn't do anything. We didn't really push a lead. We didn't deny them any farm. We didn't kill anybody. And then at some point, we were not on the same page, and I poured it behind them. Wave is going to be big. Someday getting locked down, taking a lot of damage. Steric's gauge procked as Perks might be Whoa, ready to find them. Slank is going after Abadaga, but he's already been shockwaved. Perks does have the Zonias. He'll buy himself a moment, but the man's already dead. That was not the ulti they needed. I think there were some more individual mistakes from um, me and some of my teammates as well. The end us actually just throwing the game, even though we were in like lead the whole game. Game three was like not a slow game at all. It's actually super fast. Our only 2v2 killed him at like level one or something. And with no exhaust, they're gonna go. They're already going in. See ya later, FBI. Cloud9 fought the law and Cloud9 won. Who <laughs> he's just gonna be your next target. He'll try to take a bite out of him, but it won't matter, baby. Double kill back over for Leona. And look at what Vulcan is able to do with the Swifties. <laughs> he just fiercely walks at you and you cannot walk it's away. And we were fighting around the map. There were like 15 kills in 10 minutes. Um, and it was kind of really bloody, but we ended up winning the skirmishes. Sven is free firing as you've got Blabber jumping into the fight, but he's going to be taking a lot of damage now. Closer will be the first to die. That is the jungler with the soul on the table. That is Sven lining them up and knocking them down. And it kind of felt like solo queue, but that felt kind of good. And I uh, ended up winning the game from our early snowballing. I think Falling did a really good job of snowballing that game. Uh, and I think we all helped, obviously, in the end. And I think game four. Draft was just too bad. Um, I think we kind of like tunnel on them, having those double comps and having those late game champions like Oriana and stuff like that, Aphelios, but we already banned Aphelios, so we could just give them Oriana. Nobody gives a shit about Oriana anyways. The champion is kind of bad. So I just played a champion that was very weak and we had also losing lanes. Teleport up here in the top lane. Stop. Sunday's looking to go. Hook shot right back in. Sven with a flash away. Chains of Corruption coming out. Sven's about to go down. Shockwave not going to hit much of anything. 100 Thieves still looking to make the moves. Everybody's falling apart and Cloud9's got no way out. 
um, so it was just like a hard game for us. But we actually made some comebacks this game, and I think it was winnable. But then we just like, like I fucked up the last fight because I had to TP in. But it was like I don't know if the fight was good today or not. Like I thought we were gonna win the game because I was in a very good position to carry. But then the way the fight started, I got put in like a very awkward position, and then I didn't carry, and that was the end. Yeah, I would say, I mean, even if you compare it to last year, at least, like, it was a, at least a success for us. Um, it's kind of like, it was like kind of getting to me the pressure, you know. I didn't really want to come here to NA to miss Rose, especially with Sinan, because we won spring and then, like, the summer collapse, you know. The narratives, they're pretty strong, actually. The narratives are pretty broken on this patch. So, yeah, I wanted to break the narrative, and we did it. So I'm happy with that. After we made Worlds, there was like a sigh of relief, definitely. Um, and I think, I'm not sure if that's the reason why we lost to 100 Thieves. I definitely don't think that's the reason we lost to 100 Thieves, but it's possible that if that wasn't the thing that made us Worlds, if 100 Thieves games was the thing that made, it, what made us Worlds, it's possible that we would have played better, or we would have prepared better, or we would have like uh, practiced better. It's, like we, it's hard to tell, right? Because it, it didn't happen, but um, I, I definitely feel that there was like a sigh of relief after we made Worlds. Right now, I just want to sort of like see and dig into the new patch and understand what's what's good and what could be good, and then just generally be able to uh, see the other teams play firsthand, like more than one team, more than one style, and just play against anyone really, so that we can get like a better glimpse of what our strengths and weaknesses are and uh, how like we can sort of like get better. Um, so I'm just excited to go to go to Worlds and like, you know, just have uh, some very competitive games. Thanks to all our fans for supporting us um, uh, for during the split. I know it was like kind of a rough split with benchings and losing a lot and, you know, heart attacks in the TSM series. So thanks everyone for supporting us and hopefully you can support us at Worlds too. I'd like to thank all the fans for watching us and, well, supporting us to, to our journey to Worlds. Um, I, drew, I do hope that we can actually perform. Um, so we are not like too bad, at least we can like, if we can show our best performing performance and that's not good enough, that's fine. Um, but we, we are capable of winning some games. So we'll try to do that at Worlds. So thanks to all the fans at C9 that have been supporting us, even though it feels like we're not doing the best that we can do and we're not really um, playing up to the standard that we set for ourselves um, in spring. So thank you to all the fans that are still supporting us and will be supporting us at Worlds. Uh, and go buy all the merch. Sometimes the things look rough, but it wouldn't be. Nothing in life is worth living if it's not hard. No heads, bitch! <laughs>